are improving, but it doesn't change a thing. You're still too far away. I gotta bring you in. I gotcha. Rotation. This one is mine. Well done, Elita. He overstayed his welcome a long time ago. My pleasure. Navskits in. Propulsion. That's another mission down the drain. I can't even remember what we were trying to do. It's such a simple procedure. We construct an intermediate digital sinusitis with intergalactic lyrical context multiplied by the virtual factors of the theorems of Thales and Pythagoras. <laughs> Piece of cake. Perfect imitation. Mm. Ja, what do you say we go to sleep? Great idea. <laughs> no, I don't believe this. <laughs> Odd, what did we agree on about your dog? Uh, well... But there was no need to get carried away. Hi, everybody. 
Let me try and guess. No seconds in the lunchroom? A prank that backfired? Girl trouble? Worse, Kiwi. Hey, Omic, oh come on. He's not that terrible, is he? Do you want to bet? <laughs> you think I like the idea of sleeping in wet sheets every time you forget to take him for a walk? Put yourself in his place. The poor little thing's locked up all day. The poor thing. And me, how do you think I feel? By the way, paper makes Kiwi sick. So if you didn't leave your books all over the place, huh, right, Alita? And what about my stuff? Is it because I leave them around that Kiwi steals them? I spend my life digging through the campus ground. Mr. Riley thinks oh. I'm a nutcase. Look, I'm really sorry, Odd, but something's got to be done. He ought to be punished, and that's that. Objection, Your Honor. Before sentencing, my dog has the right to a lawyer. You mean you're an animal lover? You've got to help me and defend my little diggity dog. Well, I wouldn't mind, but after what he did to my new shoes just last week? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get the picture. What's the sentence? To make Kiwi understand his bad behavior, he's got to stay in the factory for two weeks. What? Two weeks in the factory? But how could you do that to him? It, it was easy. Odd, he'll be fine there. The factory is not so horrible. Not so horrible. Staying for hours in a computer lab may be fine for Jeremy, but not for my dog. <laughs> Even remembered your froggy. No one understands you. Especially not our so-called friends. Huh? Be brave, my little diggity dog. many of you here at my Penchok Silat class. Penchok Silat, as its name indicates, is a combat technique, which is half aesthetic, half self-defense, and half spirituality. Yes, well, uh, these three halves could save your life, especially if you ever parachute in the middle of the Burmese jungle at the height of the monsoon season. Well, I see we've got an extra student today. Hey, this class is open to everybody, isn't it? And besides, I want to learn pinching skillets, too. It's called Penkatch Silar. Hey, what are you two doing here? We came here to be with you. I love hanging out with you, sis. Oh. All right, enough talking and let's get to work. I want your groups of two for a warm-up. We're going to begin with a short little warm-up. Excuse us, Jim. Hey, um, just what are you two doing in here? We want to do a story on Punchy Muskrat. Ishiyama said you wouldn't mind at all. Huh? Did you say that? Uh, uh, no, not her. It was him. Yeah, well, I, uh... Fantastic pass to the center forward who takes the ball. Well, go on, and Jeremy. Sizes up the goalie who looks kind of lost and <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Take your time, why don't you? It's impossible to concentrate with all that racket oh, going on behind us. The defenseman steals the ball and heads down the field. He passes goal. That makes 13 to 2. Hey, would you guys mind making a little bit less noise, please? We're trying to concentrate. Concentrate. That's all you bookworms do. Why don't you try something important like foosball? Shh. Huh? Are you talking to me, Belpois? Sam is launching an attack. Which sector? In the desert sector. We'd better hurry up. Yeah, Einstein? What? Oh, no. Kiri already has a hard time whenever I leave. Now if I have to go to Lyoko... Okay, okay, I'll see you over there. Are you ready? Begin. <laughs> Sissy, what you tried to do was a longka, which is complicated for a beginner. All right, Yumi, demonstrate. Get the idea? Alita? It's a Zan alert. Can't you watch what you're doing, you dork? Deep breath, Sissy, as my Burmese master said. Serenity is vital in order to stay calm. Stern. Uh, Ishiyama, what are you doing? Uh, sorry, we gotta go. A little emergency to take care of. Have a good training class. All right, Yumi. Hey, that's Kiwi too. I wonder what he's doing here. If he let himself out to do his business, then Jeremy must have upgraded the program. You know what? 
think it was Santa who pulled a few strings. Head for the factory and I'll try to distract him. Uh-oh. mechanical dogs come from. We don't have time to explain. The only chance we've got is if Ulrich and I can get out. <laughs> Jeremy, do you remember your dog robot? Surprise, there's a whole army of them lined up outside the gym. What are you talking about? I only built one Kiwi Two, Ooh, and he's just programmed to play basketball. Well, don't look now. But I think Xana's trying to form a whole team. We're gonna try and get out through the boiler room. Meet you at the factory as soon as we can. Good luck. What's the matter? Kiwi. Hey, don't try to do anything else on him. No, not your Kiwi. It's mine. Kiwi, too. He's been Xanified and multiplied by Xana. Ulrich and Yumi are stuck in the gym. They're gonna try and get out, but uh, I don't know if they will. You take me for a nitwit, Mrs. Shiyama? Absolutely not. You've already been to the factory a few times. Of course, we had to erase your memory every time by returning to the past. Huh? Right, and once this is over, you won't remember any of it either, as usual. Craziest story I've ever heard. You watch too many stupid Japanese mangoes. Mm. Uh, that is to say, can you prove that what you're saying is true? Well, how do you explain all those robot dogs out there? Do you think Jeremy built them all by himself? Uh... Listen, Jim, you've got to trust us. If we don't get to the factory, Aelita won't be able to deactivate the tower, and we'll all be attacked by those mechanical dogs. Then I and I don't usually trust Yumi, but since she has confidence in Ulrich, for today I'm going to trust her, but just for today... Me too. I trust Ulrich and I keep telling my sister she should go out with him. I tell her and tell her and tell her, but she pretends she doesn't want to. Well, you mind telling me how you plan on getting to this factory? We obviously can't just walk through the door, but there's a chance that we might be able to get from here to the sewers through an air duct. But for that, you'll have to create a diversion. Uh, too dangerous. And why shouldn't I be the one who tries to get out through the air duct? Tell me that. Because you're too... Uh, um, uh, because you wouldn't know where to go afterwards. Well, it seems pretty clear we have no choice. Okay, I'm launching the process. Are you ready, guys? Ready. Do your stuff, Einstein. Transfer, Aelita. Transfer, odd. Scanner, odd. Scanner, Aelita. Virtualization. Find the command! The activated huh? tower is northwest of your position. Keep your eyes out for uninvited visitors. Here are your vehicles. Overwing and overboard. <sighs> There's the tower. That's weird. No one's around. Let's go while the going is good. The faster we save the world, the sooner we can get back for lunch. Now, are we all set? Let's be careful, kids.
better be careful, Aelita. I see tarantulas. Yumi managed to make it out. I'll try to find out how Yumi and Ulrich are doing. Hello? Jim, how come you answered Ulrich's phone? Because he's in no condition to talk. Your robot and his clone sicked him in the leg, just like they did Millie and Johnny. Uh. Now listen here, Belpois. I don't know whether you and your strange gang are capable of doing anything, but if you can, do it fast. Odd. Aelita, we've got to shift into high gear right now. Super smoke! It seems that Ulrich's hurt pretty bad, and Millie and Johnny aren't much better. We're not exactly in paradise either, Einstein! There she can! Be right there, Anita. Just a little unfinished business to attend to. tried it and it didn't work. From now on, I'm chief officer of this unit. Hiroki, Tibia, take all these floor mats over to the door. Sissy, you're gonna help me pile them up. We're gonna build us a barricade. And all I wanted to do was spend the afternoon with Millie.
past yet? Return to the past now. And when I saw how the Kiwis multiplied themselves, I decided to do the same. The rest was easy. Alita, you are really amazing. Hey, she's not the only one. She managed to get away because William was distracted. That was an accident. Stu, what if he hadn't been there? So who do we have to say thanks to? To you, Aunt? Me? No, to Kiwi. Who do you think reloaded my laser arrows? <laughs> OK, so Kiwi's a hero. What are you trying to say? Just that heroes don't sleep in abandoned factories. <laughs> well then, Ulrich, it's your call. After all, you're the one who shares a room with him. What? Oh, yeah, no problem. He can come back home. You feeling okay? Yeah, I was uh, thinking of something else. That's great! You'll see he's a brand new dog! He's much more calm and much better behaved. Hey, hey Odd, your pants, look at them. Uh-huh. Oh, that's just, well, for ventilation. It gets so hot here at school. You sure it wasn't Kiwi up to his old tricks? <laughs> I told you it wasn't him. Can we go and eat now? <laughs> <laughs>